Selecting the right photograph, even at the point when you push the shutter on your camera is extremely important. I see way too many people right, you know, that moment making, you know, some bad choices and then they bring that photograph into the studio and they're going to try to work from that and you're almost compounding your, your problem. So design should start even before you do any pencil thumbnails or anything like that. And, and I, I want to show you three photographs here, same exact subject that I took. This was the first one, second one, and third one. And by far, this one is the best in many ways in, in design and of, of course also in values. The problem with, with this one is you have two elements here and here, and they're fighting each other. I don't know which one to look at. They're going back and forth, back and forth. Here, it's better because there's more of it right here, this element, and less of this. And as I come around the corner, as I moved, this dominates, and this is more of a more of a subordinate. Um, so, you know, going back to this, this would be just a bad, bad choice to paint from. Right here is better, and then it gets much, much better here. Now, at this point, I can still crop this just a little bit, maybe crop off a little bit on this side, like so. And that way I even get a little tighter, uh, more focused area right in, right in here. But uh, going back to, to this one, actually in the, in the beginning, I just don't know where to look. Also, if I would paint this just right from the start as, as help, as inspiration, this has much, just a much closer to what I, what I saw originally in, you know, in the field. Of course, I would take this this uh, road out, and there's a car over here in the back that would be edited edited out. But just moving around and, and literally making that choice right from the start, right when you look through the camera lens, makes a huge difference. 